Anybody here ever heard of emotional addiction? Okay, there's a few of you, that's good. But the rest of you, you're definitely going to learn something new today. An addiction is a habit. A habit is like cobwebs which have turned into steel cable. Really hard to break. So, you have something happen to you and you're so mad and upset about it. It only happened the one time. But, you relive it over and over in your mind. You replay it over and over in your mind. So all these thoughts, all these negative thoughts, feelings and actions are now ingrained in your brain. And the brain creates certain chemicals that go along with each one of these negative thoughts, feelings and actions. Now, you get into a similar situation and again you go on this roller coaster again. And all those old thoughts, feelings, and actions come up again. So you're reliving it again. So you are reinforcing the neural pathway in your brain every time you go through this. And the thing is, you don't even know that you're doing it. But you do know that you feel unhappy about it. <coughs> so with these brain chemicals, the brain is monitoring the levels of these chemicals. And here's where the addiction part comes in. The brain starts craving them if the amount of these chemicals go down in your body. And then you, subconsciously, will start doing everything that you can to feel this way because the brain is addicted to how it feels. So this is the reason why you have anxiety attacks because you've thoroughly trained yourself to expect the worst in every stressful situation. This is why panic attacks happen, because you have thoroughly trained yourself to worry. I have a friend who came to me for help because she had chronic worry and anxiety, and really, this woman had it made. She knew she should have been happy. She had a great career with a great title, with a great salary. She had a wonderful husband and kids. She had a beautiful house on acreage, and she had a really nice brand new sports car in one of her five garages. Like, she knew she should have had it made. But why was she always feeling so on edge? So she had already seen her MD, who advised her to, well, tell the kids you're taking some mummy time off, Draw a hot bath, play some nice music, lock the door, and then, ah, oh, you know, just soak in wonderful luxury. Well, that locked door attracted her kids like bees to honey, and pretty soon they're knocking on the door, and they're talking through the door, and they're saying, Mommy this, Mommy that, what do I do about that, blah, blah, blah. And Meanwhile, my friend is starting to get cold, and instead of relaxing, she's ramping up because she knows, why am I in here? I should be out there with my kids. So when we were working together, we discovered that her anxiety came down to a single incident when she was a child. She was seven years old and her father asked her to wash his car. And, you know, she's seven years old, she loves her dad, she wants to please him. She finished the job, he came out, inspected it, and all he did was criticize her. She was devastated. So we worked together to let her go, let go of that, situation reminding her that she was no longer that little seven-year-old hurt girl and to reveal to her all the great things that she has done that have made her a very well-respected and very competent professional woman. So we replaced that emotional addiction with something truly awesome.